everyone, Akko here. Welcome to my stream for the 5th March 2014. Hello, how's it going? Uh, I'm on the Resident Rise server and uh, I was supposed to tell these guys in chat I'm streaming. Um, you be grim. And uh, what I need to do, what do I need to do? I just need to switch my nickname up there. Nick. Echo streaming. Right, cool. So, how's it going, everyone? Right, what haven't I done? What haven't I done? I have not turned the chat to the right chat. There we go. Haha. Uh, yeah, Frosty, you missed it. I did a spare the moment stream on the Elder Scrolls uh, beta on Friday night. Where we thought you was out partying. There we go, there we go. So people in the chat already, as usual, and there's been people in the chat for about half an hour. As as usual, I am recording for Fraps, so you can see a little flashing 30 FPS up there. Yep, I've got the Twitch on now. Cheers, James. Hello, Beck. <laughs> um, you have to climb a mountain, maybe. I should put the Miscraft stuff in the hub really, shouldn't I? I should have announced a stream earlier, yes. Um, I wasn't actually sure if I was going to do one, That's, that was the issue. Hello mate, how's it going mate? Right, so what I'm going to do today, uh, I kind of want to get into mad science, but I don't know if I'm going to have the stuff for it, I've not looked at all at the mod, but something I do want to get into at some point, I might have to, I might have a look at that in a bit. But first of all, this has been an issue still. Hello Pigo, you right, mate? Um, old man, what? Oh, can I? I'm, I'm a youngster. I'm the epitome of youth. <laughs> uh, right, so the first thing I want to do is, I want to sort this issue out that I've got up here. My, my blood network is, this is turned on, so this is the episode that's just on now, if you were, uh, if you're watching today's episode. It's, what I did was I made this, crafting all uh, infusion all I've not done anything with it yet the problem I've got with it is I've blocked all access to the little um, master ritual stone over there so I cannot turn off this ritual that I've gone so uh, I was just thinking of ways to sort that out that's turned off in it here I was thinking of ways to sort that out and uh, I've just the way I think I'm actually the best way to do it is actually use a blood magic method for doing it uh, that little crash I said I had yesterday by the way I was gonna tell Velo about um, it stopped crashing, so it's okay now. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some stuff. I'm going to get three ender pearls and throw them into here. Uh, thank you, GDW. Very kind of you to say that. I don't know about that though. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Does your man watch my stream? That's uh, that's fun. Right, hang on. Come here, you. So what I'm making is some teleposition focuses. I'm going to need three of these. Uh, I was trying to work out a way to do this. And I thought this is probably going to be the easiest way to turn this ritual off. So uh, what I'm going to do... I don't know if this is going to work. I'm actually going to be stealing the master, this master ritual stone. So it might not work. We'll see how it goes. What I'll do for now is I need to take that switch off. Um, I, it doesn't seem to put the stone through, uh, the signal through. So I'm not sure. Right, now what I can do, now I've got them, is this should work though. I want two teleposers I didn't bring enough gold did I so uh, that was a bit of a good start wasn't it Whee! what's up Frosty what's what's wrong mate Akko's always having problems it's Akko what ah. Now I need some gold. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And I've been on, on my own all morning, so I've not had to deal with the rain, I've been able to sleep and everything, but now we've got Joshy and Vagrim on. That's uh that's the people in game, not the people in the Twitch chat. Right. Hello Dub, hello Pilp. Right, off we go back up to here. Ah, oh. uh, shit. Right. So, what I'm going to do is... Right, I've got two teleporters. This might, this may or may not work. What I'll do is I'm going to put one there. And then um, I'm going to put one over here. And the one over here, I'm going to put a redstone block on. And... Uh, this thing I need to link to me. So that's now linked, yes. Now I want to link it to that teleposer block. And now I want to put it inside this teleposer block. And then I want a, a button on it. And uh, we'll see if this works. So what I've done is I've pulled the, the master stone out of one ritual. And I've put a redstone block onto the ritual stone. So that has that stopped both the rituals, which is what exactly what I wanted it to do. Um, uh, probably not pill. I could do, but I'm probably not going to. Uh, like I said, on uh, I've got a pint of coffee here that I need to drink before it goes cold. By the way, so uh, excuse me a minute. In fact. I'm gonna have a real good swig of that. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna mute my mic because it's a bit monstrous drinking real close to the mic. Okay, that's about it. Um, the thing I like, I like getting mobs. I like getting mobs to drop my mobs, mob drops. If you know what I mean. Uh, it's nice that you can get them from plants, and I do use ender lilies and stuff like that, so I haven't been a little bit hypocritical. But uh, oh, it's still working. Redstone is not turning it off, is it? Why are you no turn off, ritual? No cost today. No, I did go in there, Jay, but the queue was too long. Uh, I did make an arcane reach constructor, yes. Well, I don't get what's happening here then. I'm still. I'm still. Um, feeding the ritual. I shouldn't be. <laughs> when I drink coffee, my eyes become huge. Good to know. Now, uh I don't get it. Why you no work ritual? I mean, why you no st stop? Right, let me go with a lever then. Let me just get this working, make sure it's all right. So if I put that on there, and turn that on, now the rituals should stop. Okay, my hearts are going up. So the ritual stopped from that. It's looking like the redstone block isn't putting a signal into it, doesn't it? Redstone block definitely works as a redstone signal. That's unfortunate though. I was hoping that would work. But now look, redstone block is not actually turning the master stone off. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. Worth a try though. Um, what I can do is now what I want to do is I want to see if, if I put this back will it put the region ritual back together and no okay that's good to know as well then so this isn't a good this is not a good way of doing things because I need to uh, activate the ritual every time 
like so. So okay, it's worth a test, and I've got a couple of teleposers for later use. But um, I'm still have an issue with my little um, build here. But never mind. Right, I'm gonna put all this stuff up in a chest for now. Uh, unfortunately, I have to leave that turned on. Now, I've done a bit of stuff off camera, so I know like, I know you like it when I do that. I did. Uh, yeah, possibly. The problem is, I've I don't have a block I can get into it with. Now, ideally, putting a switch on the adjacent block should turn it off, but it doesn't look. So that redstone signal's not going through that block into the one next to it. It needs to be right on it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's looking at it though. That was not a great. Not a great method anyway, because I'd have to, um, I'd have to re, I'd have to reinitialize the sig the thing every time. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Right. <laughs> Pop friends singing some uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. I could just raise the altar up. Yeah, that's that is the easiest one, mate. I was, I was trying to avoid doing that, but uh, hello, my genius. The ironic name after all the questions last week. It's I'll work it out. I could I was, I was put, raising the altar is the easy option. I was trying to do something different, but yeah, I probably will end up just raising the altar. So right, hang on. Why not use a middle? Yeah. Anyway, anyway, let's uh, let's not dwell too much on that. Cheaty pork fen. Cheaty cheaty. So, what do I want to do here? I can go in there. People won't be sleeping. Yeah, I'll just put that stone in there for now. So, I've done some... Do, 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 do. Uh, I'll, I'll, I might do that. Muse. I'll just raise the altar probably. Yeah, well, the seat. I do like having the ritual, this ritual as well. If you're doing things like trying to make a archmage, archmage orb, then which is well, any kind of well of suffering doesn't seem to put blood into the altar quick enough. So it's uh, nice to have the regen one here. I don't particularly need the feathered knife to be honest. I could just put the regen one here. Yeah, that's possibly a good idea. I did see the video Pork Fin made yesterday, yes. Right, um, I've done some research off camera. Now, in my beginner's guide, which I'm going to tape tonight for tomorrow, I'm going to do a full episode of research. So, I haven't been doing any research. Make any more noise? Can we um, so I don't do much more research on camera on on here, but just to show you what I've done, uh, I've got a few things sorted. I the, the awesome warding focus that I really want because I like there to be more genius. I I, I have it there so that I can refill my blood network while I'm working in my tower. Uh, not to do with me, GZW mate. Uh, what else have I researched? Um, I need to start working towards infusion stuff pretty soon. Essentially distillation and stuff. Uh, I, I have researched the runic armor, but I've not made anything. I've, in fact, I've not made anything with infusion yet. I need to start getting jars and stuff for that, don't I? Which means I need to start building my base up. I'm thinking of moving this base as well, by the way, just so everyone knows. Uh, hello, Cory. Where's Cory? I don't see Cory. Oh, there he is. Hello, mates. Uh, yeah, the the most phone craft research stuff is going to be in my beginner's guide, which will be up tomorrow, the next episode of. Uh, don't yet. Now this, I'm not sure what this mod is. Advanced Slime Looks interesting. 
But uh, there was a message on the earlier version say that only try this in a test world, don't do it in a real world. Because it could destroy your world, so I don't really want to touch them so. But, uh, I know very little about that. Climate Tinker, I've not done much. Now, I'm hoping that little wooden platform thing's there. The ethereal block, whatever it was called, but it doesn't seem to be anymore. Which is a shame. And then, the... For a bit of magic, I've done quite a bit of research. I, I wanted to do this. I wanted to see what this was about. So, Arcane Infusion, using blood magic stuff, can get you a blood wand, which I'm really curious about. <laughs> Sorry, Cory. Cory's been here since two, and everyone ignored him. <laughs> Sorry, mate. How's it going? Right, right, right. Uh... So what Forbidden Magic adds, some of the cool things it adds, is one of this that I talked about in the last episode, the uh, Soul Shards type spawn cage thing. Um, another one is this awesome cake. Another one is this, this real cool flower that lets you grow black ink, which is nice. These Scrivener's tools are awesome. I'm really, I'm really liking these to just fill up off your LP network whenever you put them in your inventory so you don't have to mess around with ink anyway. Uh, the cake I will make... Suppose I could make three jars and just get enough of these things to make a bit of cake for fun. But uh, yeah, uh, well these things are really cool. Here yeah. we've got an infernal wand core. We've got the bloody wand core. And we've got the witchwood wand core. Now the witchwood one lets you use your mana. So the higher level you get in fountain. The higher level you get in, what do you call it? Um, Rath Magicka. Eh? The more mana you get, so... You'll be able to regen a wand off mana, so I'm going to want one of them at some point. A Witchwood one caught. And the bloody one uses your LP network. Um, and then there's caps as well that can go on them. So I will be infusing these at some point, but probably not today. I don't know though, I don't know though. Setting up infusion takes... I mean, I've got the altar and that, but setting up all the rest still takes a while. Now the witches, I'm going to go down there now actually. I said down there. Yeah, don't, please don't uh, spam all caps. All caps comes under the don't be a dick thing in the, uh, on, the, on, the, on the stream rules. That's... For people of my generation, caps on the internet is considered shouting. <laughs> Right, uh, it's the witches. Most of them are still here. The one in there died. I don't know why. But, er... Uh, perhaps there was a fly. I don't know. Was that, what song is that from? Nursery Ram. Anyway, so I put another one in there. These other ones have actually stayed okay. Hmm. Vagrim's travel anchor just ate his atomic disassembler. Um, I do I do need to get a couple more in here. This seems to be working though. I need a couple more slam balls to get the last two in there. What I've done is I'm not sure if there was getting stuck on the half blocks that the fence posts are. Oh, son of a stupid flux bloody pickaxe. Sometimes it doesn't break things, other times it breaks things about so quick. So I wasn't sure if they were spawning inside the fence. Oh, this one was weird as well. This one actually, this one was in there with that one. So it broke out of it, she broke out of a cell and she climbed in with air, so them two must be a couple. But, um, I, caught, I thought maybe because they're getting stuck in the thinness of the iron bars. I've changed all the iron bars, what they actually are now. You can't really tell, but if you look, they're actually all carpenter blocks with iron bars put onto them as a facade. So they're actually full block thickness. So that should stop the witches getting stuck. Anyway, this all works fine. Uh, I do need to get on with getting mob essence going. Okay, I can hear someone. Someone's trying to kill me. <laughs> Where, where are you? I've got a weapon to try out for whoever does come and try and kill me. I'm in a bow of the bone. This is 
from Foundcraft. A new thing from Foundcraft. I've been trying it with Power 5 and Breaking Free and Infinity. I'm not sure if it'll take... See how much... Um, Shut up for that noise. What's going on? I see how many moonstone meteors there are. It's a bit silly if you're uh, always in somewhere. Look at that. Who's that there? Who's that there? You was in a hook to, to get up. I never knew the hook used the uh, an actual string. I want. Does this boy hurt? Puck. I'm curious. Yeah, I can change it with rapid. Cool. Are you full of heal, Puck? I want to shoot you. What was that, 18? <laughs> so that's weird. You just hold it back and it shoots. You can't, you can't hold it back drawn. Nine damage, was it? Pretty cool, isn't it? I like that. Very, very nice. Oops. Right, off we go. Let's get out of here. Let's make it harder for Port to get up there. I still haven't made a train thing to get up there yet. Whee! Oh. Eh. So, at the end of yesterday's episode, Tony shoots fire. Oh man, you're right, Puck. Did you fall off the server? <laughs> now, uh, yeah, I did make this thing in this in this in episode, and I am using it to just repair various looted armor, so I can um, put it onto armor stands and have it looking nice. And I have used a little bit more of this cheaty stuff, Doc M's cheaty enchanted plate repair. Uh, right. You got the this. Right, excuse me a second. Okay, coffee's finished. And, uh, oops, sorry, it's punched my mic. That must have sounded terrible. There we go, let's wipe my, wipe my tash. Um, I will call it 39 to rename it. 33. 39. Let's get a few more levels on me. I'm going to call it Ultra Boner. What was that? Ah, yeah, there's permissions on the thing though, isn't there? There we go. Ultra Boner. There we go. Boned. Ah, uh, that's funny. Right, right. Um, what am I doing? Hmm. Sorry, they're going a bit quiet while I'm talking to Vagrim. Uh, so these have got an inventory now, have they? So I'm not going to... Oh, look, yeah. Private project protected public. Interesting. And they've got slots in them. So I can have these public. Uh, I guess they're defaulted to private. I should, I suppose, put them to public. If anyone wants to come up here and mess around in my base. Now, uh, how do I get down? How do I get up first? 
Oh. Uh oh. Hello again, YouTube. There was a bit of a crash there due to Ender.io. So, um, Ender.io travel anchors. Now I need to turn the chat back on. Okay, we are back and we're back in game. Thank you, Mojinis. It's uh, it's a work in progress. <laughs> poke tried to kill me then. I saw him. I've got this awesome bow on me poke. It does damage. Let's be careful. I will defend myself. Oh. So yeah, welcome back YouTube. Um, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't really know what I'm doing on this stream if I'm being honest. I've got nothing massively planned. Um, so you did yours same as this, yeah? Del? Deli? 7x7x3? Seven by seven by ah yeah, I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll make a robot in a minute. Now, what I've done with this guy is this is Big reactors have updated to version 0 0.3. It's changed quite a lot. We've got a new, you've got a new GUI in here. Um, it puts out 43,000 RF a tick, which is crazy. It fills this up in seven seconds. So what I've got is just so I've got a load of energy. Um, I've got three resonant energy cells here stacked on top of each other. And I should tell my mum and dad about that. I'll see if they'll, I'll see if they'll get me one. <laughs> um, not not Bebo's family, my family, I mean. So, uh, I've just got loads of energy stored in this, and I am running to, I'm running power to all these machines, and I'm running power under there, across to this uh, little, little thing. Big reactors are very powerful now, yes. Extremely so. They don't seem to be using a great deal of fuel. I think it might need a bit of balance, I don't know. It might need the config changing so that we... I presume we've still got the same power multiplier. Hello, Gaboid. Uh, I, I presume we've still got the same power multiplier that we had before to make it compete with Atomic Science. Now... Um, no, Uranium should be the same. Now um, that the output of this has been put up, we might need to change the config, I don't know. but. All I've done here is this is my little favoured setup for these big reactors at the minute. I've got my redstone port there triggering when it goes below 5%. I've got a state cell set to 7 seconds and I've got this redstone port to turn it on when it gets a signal. So the reactor turns on for 7 seconds when it gets below 5%. So basically it's just filling that up. Uh, what about it, Mod Genius? Yeah, you well, yeah, the, the, they are the very strong mods for power. Right, um, bottleneck wise, this at the minute is bottlenecking off the brine. So my full size salination plant is not keeping up, even with machines that are not. What's up? It's same. It's the same. It's the same. What do you call it? Is a red matter sword. Uh, the same texture because Wavetown was given permission to use the textures from E2. Uh, so yeah, this one salination plant's not keeping up. I do need to make more salination plants. My next step when I get a lot of copper processed is I know what it is, my genius. I just didn't know what you meant. My salination plant, no, it's still just one size, uh, one. I need to make it into four. What I've been doing is I've been doing some target mining of various ores. At the minute, I'm processing. I ran out of gold, so I'm just going through the gold at the minute. After the gold's done, I shall be going through the. What? Uh, after the gold's done, I'll be making it go through all the copper next. And uh, once I've got a load of copper, as you can see, each stack of this ore is going to become each stack of this is going to become five five stacks of ingots um I, i'm not sure what you're telling me my genius i'm sorry mate 
Uh, you said it's up. He said, "What about atomic science?" Uh, I know. I know. I've had a fusion reactor before. They are very strong. Yes. Uh, the mech obsidian sword is much stronger than the flux and bound swords. That's good to know. I do like the fact that I get weak shards, but I have got over a stack of weak shards now, so I don't particularly need the bound blade. Uh, I'm thinking of making the axe from Forbidden Sign, uh, Forbidden Magic. Uh, mod genius, you blow my mind. I don't know what. I don't know what you. Why? <laughs> what of? I know how to do atomic science. Which mod? You're not telling me. <laughs> uh, you need to put in context, mate. I can't keep up with everyone in the chat and know what every sentence is about. So that's pretty much, as you can see, I've pretty much ripped this base apart. The old teleposer thing ain't going to work in. I'm thinking my new plan with this is going to take a lot of time. Two times two plus one is five. What? Hello, Gunnett. Uh, my new thinking for this place is, is it five or is it six? Um, is I'm gonna build Wayne Manor. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna build the back cave underneath it. So uh, I think. Oh, the mod. Thanks, Pill. Yeah, that helps. So uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna put a, like a man a manor mansion thing on here with my base underneath, since I can't telepose the. Steve's factory manager. Digital mana is from mechanism. Now I suppose. I, he keeps saying it, mod genius, but I don't know why. Why would I want you to? I'm not sure. You're not telling me who. Why? <laughs> right. Uh, so this, uh, I've only got one of these still. I need to. I need to get more of these built. As soon as that copper starts getting processed, I will be upping this little plant up to four of these things. I might actually move my base into the desert, you know. Uh, now, people mentioned a little servitor. I'm not sure how far Dave's on with his base. But Dave's base is over here somewhere. Whee! Go on, where's Dave's base? Found torches. Now, I'm not sure how far Dave's done. I know he's recorded two episodes. <laughs> there we go. So, I'm not going to do too much of Dave's base because I'm not sure how much he's shown on camera yet and how much he wants to save for his own episodes. But this is Dave's base, very cool in this nice little... Uh, we're talking about rotary craft there, we don't have that in this mod, if that's what you're talking about. I'm, I can't answer you anymore mate, I just don't know what you're on about. You just, everything you type is just confusing me more. <laughs> so, there's Dave's base, quite near to man. Down in this lovely little fungi forest. Now I'm going to head across to where I think Josh's base is. Yes, when I tried it, Dub, the, um, it didn't want to connect to the salination plant valves, which is why I didn't bother. I did try it and I didn't want to connect. Wee! Hello, Joshy. I'm at your base. Ooh, what's this? It's a what? It's not a pearl oyster. What's going on? They are pearl oysters. They uh, flying to me. Is that a fishing net of some kind, Joshy? Let's jump up here. Whee. This is Josh's cool looking base. I keep telling him he needs to build a big statue of Poseidon out in the water there. What's going on? <laughs> nah, don't ban the guy. 
That's a pair of oyster. Looks like a fishing net to me. No, no, he's okay. He's he's not doing anything malicious. This is looking very cool, Joshy. I like what you're doing up here. And uh, if we look at that, I like that, mate. That looks real nice. Very organic. You need transfer pipes on the salination plant, so you, so you actually. I'll show you. I'll go make some in a minute. It is a fishing net. That's what I thought. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a way to pop his base from here. Look at that. How do you do that, by the way? That is something I do not know how to do. How to get these funky bed covers. It does, doesn't it? It looks really nice. I'm, I'm, I'm digging this, Joshy. It looks really cool. Very organic looking. Oh, it's going upstairs as well. All right. Bed downstairs for business and a bed upstairs for fun, eh? Well, best be careful. No. Oh. Looks a bit mean, doesn't it? It's a sifter. Ah. I thought sifters was like, uh... Okay. Right, I'll just, just let me know there. They don't graphically connect. But they work. Right, that's where I went wrong then. I saw that they didn't connect and I didn't bother carrying on. Let's go now to... Come on, I'm sure there's a way to... There's a way to uh, pop his base through here. Yeah, that's a good thing. I like the fact that I've needed no one banning. Carpenter's bed, right click with a hammer, ah, okay, and you can change the bed cover. I've been changing the bed cover by clicking it with a die. Cool, cool, good to know. This is Poppy's base, looking very cool as well. Poppy's making a gentleman's club. She's looking very nice. These uh, these bricks are from Mariculture as well, I, I, I want to use some of these myself, they look really nice. They're called, what are they called again? Oh shit, I do. Um, I do, sorry. All chats are on now. <laughs> okay. Uh. Go behind the copper tank to the tunnel. Ah, right. I had forgot to put the chat back on. Let's uh Now Poppy's base is awesome because it's really random. It's very nice. This is yeah, this is Mariculture Lambstone. Looks very good. Uh, they're called Thin Brick, there we go. Now I'll um, I'll head to your base next yes. Alright, I don't know where your new base is actually. Have you got a book in the hub yet? This is Poppy Base. I showed this on my video yesterday with its randomness. Just a random dragon egg just sat around the corner there. And uh, all kind of crazy stuff down here. And uh, I think to get to Josh's, we go that way. Is it this way? Not enough poles in the club. That's the way to Josh's, I think. There you go, Joshy. You need to start making videos. What was today? Weird. Southwest of my base, are you? Interesting. So, ah, uh, here we are. Oh, yeah, that one really hidden, was it? <laughs> so, we're back here again. Cool, cool, cool. <coughs> right, I don't know what's going on with the chat anymore. <coughs> um, 
pop in another channel. See you later, my genius. Right, where's Pork's base then? Southwest of me. So there's Poppy's, there's Josh's, there's Dave's. That's my area. Vagrim is, of course, up there in his island of doom. Um, where's Bevo then? Bevo's north as well, I think. Not that far north, though. I believe that is, yeah, that is Sice's base. The Scouter is in, yes. The scout is a night vision thing, yeah? That is in, if that's what you mean. Wee! Ah, it's from Dragon Ball Z, is it? Right, back we go over here. So, I've kind of done nothing in the stream. It's, it's bad, actually. I didn't have anything really planned. I should have got a lot of... Uh, Dawn has made a funny noise. I should have got a load of Thorncraft jars and stuff ready to go, but I had no time to get it sorted. Now, it's not Z, it's Z. The day an Englishman changes the way he pronounces English letters is the day the world's gone mad. So, Wee. Um, I've never, I've never even seen it myself. I know the name of it, but I'm too old for it. I've never seen it. Never heard of it. Well, never, never seen it. So you live here, dear Puck. Ooh, ooh. Hello. Okay, a zombie. Nice looking base this. Nice looking village, I mean. <coughs> Can I come through here? No. There's vans everywhere. I do like the new Farmcraft research. Yes, it's uh, a lot nicer than the old research. Pork trying to kill me. Right. Next time you grab me, you get shot, just so you know. Does, yes, they look very nice. They're very thick. So you've got vines on top of leaves there, yeah? Is there a way in there? Looking good, mate. Looking good. Bit of an itch there. <laughs> Just because I've got... What? You can't be shot. What's going on? <gasps> Why can't I shoot her? <gasps> Some witchcraftery, maybe. Some trickery of some kind going on. Interesting. <laughs> Ugh, get off me. So I was attached to the roof, was I? <laughs> right, anyway, let's get on with doing some I can't mess around all day. Good people here to watch me build some, I guess. Right. <laughs> I am a bad shot. I'm a terrible shot. 
I was not maliciously trying to kill you. But if one had connected, would have been alright. Whee! Where's my base? Okay, what shall I do? What's going on in the chat? I'm missing stuff. Um, I did not get a chance to... No, Jay, sorry, mate. Um, I didn't have a chance to watch the modded Fallout or Sky... Sky... Skyrim? Welcome back, mates. <laughs> I am wearing... Very strong armor, yes. Don't want to do magic crops. I don't want to do magic crops. I like killing mobs. What I need to do, actually, is get on with... I hope you don't mind. I'm going to get on with what I want to do. I'm going to get on with making my mob farm because I need to be able to get mobs. I, I'm not doing magic crops. I like to get mob drops from mobs, not plants. Uh, what I need is some rubber. I've not made any of this yet, have I? Oops. What went on there? And there's no machines. None up there. None in there, okay. I am not able to do what I want. <laughs> uh, right then. Let's make some stuff. Let's make some stuff. That should be over here. What? You don't make it easy to follow the chat sometimes, you chaps. Right, uh, salt pier. You can go in there. Now, I need some... I need a sewer first of all, don't I? So I want to want... Let's uh, get 16 of them going. So uh, oh, the other thing I didn't mention is I upgraded all these with energy things. So these are all running at like 2 hour if a tick. All very nice and cheap. Very good. But I've done no speed upgrades yet. Because there's no need to. Because of uh, this backlog it's getting anyway. Look, 64 gold stuck in there because there's not enough brine. Time is soon, is it? Yeah, five minutes. Cheers, mates. No, there we go. We've got some raw plastic. Let's make that into some plastic sheets. Then, uh, pork fin may struggle because I'm wearing obsidian armor. Which I think it makes me almost impervious. He did try dropping me a few times, which would work, but. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, 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 right. Let's ignore what they're on about. Screw them. Weirdos in the chat. Always trying to kill me. First thing I need is a sewer to convert my XP into mob essence. So. I wish you'd use the right glass. One of them. One of them. Um, and some bricks. You missed nothing, Miles. We've been dicking about. I've done next to nothing up to now. Uh, a bucket. Should have spare buckets in here. Yeah. And let's get them bricks cooked up. Oh yeah, rapier ignores armor. Go spend an hour making a rapier. I'll do. <laughs> Wee. I can see I'm gonna have to make my all my bases out of warded stone to stop to stop pork thing getting me. Now, Pokefin would like to play Anarchy Mode, like, you know what Minecraft are doing? <laughs> Here we go. So, what I need to do is 
Yeah. Do, do I lose all my shit if I get a portal gun to the moon? Because I don't mind dying. If you make me lose all my shit, I will lose my shit in a different way. Just so you know. Right. I want that guy. I've only got one of these up to now. This is a bit unfortunate. I would like more. Let's grab this. Um, I suppose I should tidy that up. Oh, the thing worked, didn't it? Without crashing me. Dare I use it to go up the next floor? I don't think... Uh, I'm going to try it. Because we're at the end of the video anyway. I'll try it and uh, I'll be back in a minute if I crash. I didn't crash. Okay. So they're working again now. Oddly. I don't know what's causing that. Hello, Blues. Um, like what Minecracker doing where they fight each other and destroy each other's bases and steal stuff off each other. Yeah, sending me to the moon would make me lose my shit and then I'd just kill Poke every time I saw him. <laughs> and we would have anarchy mode. Uh, right. I've got that. I need to know where to put this, don't I? I'm gonna throw it down in my bit down just down in my base for now. I'm probably gonna move this later on to wherever I build my base, my new base. I need to spend a good day or two in here off camera and building stuff, I think. I need to do that on Utopia as well. That's what I, I started building my new base in Utopia yesterday, which I'll start recording again once I've got my new base built in Utopia, but I don't particularly like the base I'm in there. The bee was good. I like the bee. Let me out. Ah. Yeah, like the Minecraft free the beast map. map. All at war. Right, so uh, for now I'm just going to put this down here. Uh, I actually want it near my ME network. Because I'm going to use extra cells. So, what we're going to have is... Ritual. <sighs> Look at that over there. Do we have a zoom on this map? I don't, I don't think we do, do we? Lord Buzzington, yes. Lord Buzzington was fun. Right, I am going to end the first YouTube video there. So thank you, as always, for watching this bit of a derpy stream where we've done a kind of server tour and not much else. Thank you very much for watching. The next part of the stream will be up pretty soon. Uh, so cheers. Bye. See you later, Pilp.